last two units are uh, again more on solving s things uh, implicitly, uh, also essentially stationary problems uh, and, and nonlinear ones. So let's start with a simple uh, nonlinear PDE. So it's a model problem. You have this reaction term, which is uh, u cube, uh, and you now want to uh, solve this guy um, with some kind of Newton uh, Newton method. And what you can do for this is you can write down the bilinear form again, uh, no, not bilinear in both arguments, but you can directly, uh, oh, this is again wrong. I think this was wrong of the last user meeting already, but okay, so um, you can directly write down what you would like to have. So here, uh, let's say this is your, um, your uh, Nonlinear form that you want to have in your discretization, so it has a nonlinearity. So here it's three to the uh, times u to the cube. Here it's five u square. So it doesn't really matter. Uh, you can just write it down as such. Yeah. So you write down the bilinear form with that expression, um, and obviously it's it's not a it's, it's not a linear part uh, anymore. So we have to li linearize, and we can apply Newton's method for that. So if you want to do that, then you compute a linearization and solve for the update of the linearization. So you all know Newton method, Newton's method, I guess. So this is what you want to impl implement here. So, uh, and this is this is the implementation or a very prototype, typical implementation. You have a number of iterations. First, what you need to do is you need to evaluate um, your form given your argument. Um, so you have essentially just a linear form left if you replace the, the use with your current values GFU, so that's what you need. This is the apply operation. Uh, and then there is the assemble linearization, which allows you to, uh, to linearize your um, form around a linearization argument. Okay, and then you solve uh, for the linearized, so here we set up the sparse matrix corresponding to the linearization argument. You can solve for this guy, um, and update in, in the Newton, Newton's method. Yeah, so it's relatively simple. So the key point is that we can do this assembly linearization uh, where you don't have to do this by hand, but this will happen automatically. So it will essentially differentiate your expression that you have defined in your bilinear form here um, with respect to your, your argument. Okay, so let's see. So the very simple problem. So we now apply the uh, the Newton solve, and you see, okay, after only a few iterations, the Newton converges. Uh, you can also now see that there is something shipped with NG solve, so you don't have to write your own Newton solver. You can also <coughs> take the Newton solver from the solvers uh, module from from NG solve, uh, and that. Uh, has some few arguments that are more or less obvious. So the, you prescribe your form, your uh, grid function that you want to work with. You prescribe which directly degrees of freedoms you, you might have, and, and okay, and so on. All right. So solving the same problem now with the ng-solve implementation gives you the same yeah, solution actually, and also the same amount of iterations. Not surprising. So um, yeah, if you're interested in a trivial problem because everything is too complicated, so far, take a look at this. I will skip it. Um, let's go to uh, Navier-Stokes again. Now we want to solve Navier-Stokes stationary, um, where we have nonlinearity here in the in the convection part, uh, and we want to solve this this problem. Um, we put directly boundary conditions everywhere in our domain. So in order to fix the pressure, then. Uh, to have a unique solution for the pressure as well, we added a Lagrange multiplier here to have an average uh, uh, pressure zero. Okay, so then uh, apart from, from everything uh, that we learned before, the only new stuff is again that we have a nonlinear form here that we put in. Apart from that, it's a Taylor Hood discretization that we see here, and uh, the components are well known. Perhaps one new thing is this number FE space. It's just a re representation of a global scalar uh, that you can use to, to introduce this into your variation formulations. Okay, so that's what we do here. And now we solve the uh, nonlinear problem. So physically, this is a driven cavity problem because we apply um, 
the shearing on the top of the domain. So that's what we do here, and then solve for the solve the Newton problem on this. Okay, so this gives us this is the pressure, for example. We could also take a look at the velocity field. This is for for a relatively high viscosity. Um, so let's make it more complicated. So we, we decrease the viscosity, solve the same problem. Again, we need a few iterations. So now it's one iteration more. It's obviously more uh, convection dominated now, but still not, not too challenging. So let's decrease it further. So this is what you see here. So now we have mute iterations and it gets more and more and actually it's not converging anymore. Uh, so. Okay, so this is the kind of the first case where this example uh, Newton implementation doesn't work. Uh, okay, solution breaks. What you can do, however, is you can use the Andrew Solve implementation and then add a damping to your to your Newton scheme, for example. So that's what's happening here. So reset the the initial guess to just be uh, fulfilling the boundary conditions, and then we apply the damped Newton ship by NG solve and you see that it takes of course a few iterations but it converges and you have something like Reynolds 1000 uh, problem solved as well.